My name is Magdalena Costa, and I will be doing a presentation on the history of the Pleistocene glaciation. Ice Ages. An ice age is a period in time in which the Earth has notably cooler weather and large ice sheets cover enormous regions of the Earth. How many ice ages have there been? There have been at least five major ice ages in the Earth's history. We are currently in an interglacial period in which we are experiencing warmer temperatures. One of the ice ages is Pleistocene glaciation. It helped form the current world as we know it today. It has helped form our mountains, rivers, lakes, ravines, oceans, erosions of land, depositions of material, animals, plant life, sea levels, and our climate including ocean temperatures. It began approximately 1.8 million years ago. This epoch ended about 12,000 years ago, which moved into the Holocene epoch. Large ice sheets covered the Northern Hemisphere. Some of these large ice sheets were as thick as 2.5 miles deep. Throughout the Pleistocene glaciation, the cooler and warmer periods, the ice has formed and retreated more than 20 times. Geologic evidence of Pleistocene glaciation can include marine sediments, presence of coarse sand-sized elastic detritus and small pebbles in deep sea sediments far from land can only be explained by ice rafting. Another type of geologic evidence can be fossilized wind remains, fossilized plants, and geologic landscape. For example, in Africa, arid and open grasslands were replaced by a wooden environment and consisted of a more wet landscape, which is geologic evidence that the landscape changed drastically. One more type of geologic evidence can be fossilized mammals. Geologists' methods for obtaining evidence of Pleistocene glaciation can include radiocarbon dating, mass spectrometric use series, surface exposure dating, KAR, obsidian hydration rinds and cobble weathering rinds, calibrated by KAR ages, and correlations. Effects of the Pleistocene glaciation include sea level rising from 80 to 130 meters. As a result of this sharp rise in sea level, large continental shelves of the United States and North America are now underwater where they were once dry land. Another effect is that Alaska was once entirely connected to Siberia. The Bering Land Bridge, also known as Central Part of Beringia, is thought to have been up to 600 miles wide, based on evidence from sediment cores drilled into the now submerged landscape. Now it is reduced to the Bering Strait. Another effect are extensions of land and marine mammals. When this corridor of land between Russia and Alaska closed off, two species of bison, B. priscus and B. adequus, became extinct because they were dependent on certain food plants that were no longer readily available to them. Macedon's mammoths, ground sloth, herpeticus, marine well, Stellar's sea cow and saber-toothed cats were also other mammals that went extinct during the Pleistocene glaciation, but could be either due to the actual climate effects or human hunting. Another effect was the formation of the Great Lakes. Formation of the Great Lakes was made by depressions scarred by glaciers and flanked by moraines. Another effect was the formation of Cape Cod, Long Island, and Niagara Falls. Effects of the Pleistocene Glaciation on the Bering Land Bridge On the left you can see the former land bridge between Alaska and Siberia which was used by many land mammals and even humans. On the right you can see modern day Alaska and Siberia. All the water in between was from melting of large ice sheets during the Pleistocene epoch. Formation of the Great Lakes this depicts the formation of the Great Lakes. On figure A, you can see the beginning stages of melting during the Pleistocene epoch ending with figure D, which shows the modern day Great Lakes as we know them. Land mammals that went extinct during the Pleistocene epoch were woolly mammoths, bisons, and ground sloths. Marine mammals that went extinct during the Pleistocene epoch 
were Herpetocetus, sea otters, northern fur seals, and Stellar's sea cows. Some of these mammals could have gone extinct either due to the actual climate effects or human hunting. Below are some sources used to create this presentation. Thank you.